Moving on to other stories, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, has distanced himself from the violence in the southeastern part of the country. He vowed that those behind the violence in the name of being an IPOB member would not be spared. Correspondent Kolojo reports that Kano spoke immediately the court rules on Tuesday after he was denied bail. He noted that the violence persisted because it was being held in custody of DSS. Kano declared that if released, there will be peace in the entire southeast, adding that anybody committing crime cannot go free. Anybody involved in any type of crime in the east cannot go free. And they're doing it because I'm, 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 I'm in DSS. That's why if I was at the no big deal, can try this rubbish. And they know it very well. There are some people in government that are complicit. They are making money with insecurity. They are making money with it. They are not numb the cannons outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Kano told the court that he is suffering from conjunctive heart disease just as he pulled a pure fish shirt in the courtroom to show the judge his ribs and chest as evidence of the treatment he is receiving in the custody of DSS. The IPOB leader said the doctors treating him within the DSS facility doesn't have the drugs to take care of him, noting that the DSS is patching him up so he doesn't die in custody. He alleged that there is a conspiracy for him to die in DSS detention.